This is a selection of plants from azaleas to use that have actually killed people. They aren't necessarily the most dangerous plants. Azaleas are members of the rhododendron family. Rhododendrons range from small trees to shrubs. Rhododendrons can be very toxic plants. Even honey made from them is dangerous. Some plants are more toxic than other plants, and some animals are more susceptible to different toxins. As little as a few leaves of rhododendron is enough to possibly cause harm in people. Usually it would take quite a significant amount to uh, actually kill a person, though. Sometimes a dog will eat a whole plant and uh, not, not notice any effects. There are two species of baneberries, the uh, red baneberry and the white baneberry. They're very closely related. Both are equally toxic. In both cases, it only takes a few berries to uh, potentially kill a person. They taste very bad, so uh, it's actually pretty rare for someone to be poisoned. A common name for baneberries is doll's eyes. They look um, very much like a doll's eye with that little dot on them. It's also a very good diagnostic feature to use for identifying them. Like many species of plants with berries that are poisonous to humans, they are transported by birds. Apparently the plant is being very selective about what it uses to transport its seeds. Baneberries are members of the buttercup family, which includes a large number of very toxic plants. Belladonna are members of the nightshade family, which includes potatoes, tomatoes, breadfruit, and peppers. Peppers are an example of a plant that uses birds to spread the seeds. Birds aren't even affected by the heat from peppers. Belladonna have a long history of use as a poison. It has been used to assassinate Roman emperors and also used in warfare. The Scottish General Macbeth used it to stop an English invasion. The term nightshade comes from the practice of uh, giving it to women to dilate their eyes to make them look more attractive. The toxin in black cherries is cyanide. The leaves, bark, and twigs are especially dangerous. The actual compound in black cherries is, is called prunacin. It's a sedative and a cough suppressant but it can also turn into cyanide. The leaves are especially dangerous when, whenever they are wilted because that's when cyanide is most likely to be produced. I used to gather choke cherries, which is a very close relative of black cherries. As a child, it makes very good pies. It also makes good jelly. Black locusts are members of the pea family. The biggest danger from them is that someone might mistake them for a pea. The plant is native from Pennsylvania to Georgia, although it's been introduced throughout the world. The plant is often considered an invasive species, and it's a big problem for horses and other livestock. It's especially true when they eat the, the young shoots that are coming up in, in pastures. It reproduces by suckers, so it tends, to, uh, it tends to have a lot of young shoots that come up near the tree. It's similar to a honey locust plant, but it, it lacks the large number of spines on the trunk. It's also obviously poisonous. Since it's a legume, it can tolerate poor soils, low nitrogen. It's a very good pioneer species. Buckeyes, or horse chestnuts, as they're known in Europe, are a group of uh, flowering plants. It is characterized by very ornate flowers and large seeds. The seeds are sometimes eaten, but it requires that you boil them and leach them for several days to remove the toxins. Definitely not recommended. The poisonous part of the plant is the, uh, the buds, nuts, leaves, bark, um, any seedlings. The honey also contains some toxins. It's even known to kill bees. It causes both gastrointestinal and neurological toxicity. Native Americans used it to uh, catch fish. They'd ground up the nuts and uh, add it to water and it would stun the fish. Caladium or elephant ears are a popular uh, house plant. The toxin in caladium is calcium oxalate. It forms sharp crystals and is very damaging to the kidneys. It, basically the plant has a lot of oxalates in it and they, they form calcium oxalate in the blood and that causes problems in the kidneys. The sharp crystals can also irritate the mouth and throat, and it can cause suffocation. 
The plant is native to South America and the tropics. All parts of yellow jasmine are toxic. As little as four milliliters of an extract has caused fatalities. There are also reports that as little as one flower can kill a child. I noticed some planted outside the mall today. Very pretty little plant. It wasn't like a vine, it was more it was more like a potted plant. It has very distinctive partially open flowers. It is mostly used as an ornamental now, but it used to be used as medicine and also as a, as a scent jasmine. The castor royal plant has the distinction of having the most toxic plant toxin. The toxin ricin gets a fair amount of publicity because it's potentially used as a terrorist weapon. It was also used by the Soviet Union to, to assassinate disaffected agents. The toxin is mainly found in the solid portion of the seed. It's a protein that attacks the, uh, the functioning of the cell at the molecular level. The seeds bear a resemblance to uh, pinto beans, but they are quite a bit shinier. They can be found at the base of the plant or in hardened pots with prickly outsides. China berries are members of the mahogany family. They are native to India, southern China, and Australia. It can be found in the wild as far north as New York. The plant contains neurotoxins and also natural insecticides. For an adult, it's reported that about six fruits is needed to uh, poison somebody. It's used as a medicine in China, so they have quite a lot of experience with it. The poisoning could take up to three weeks to manifest. The animals most often affected are pigs, but it can poison several other species. Daphne is a widespread shrub in the colder areas of the northern hemisphere. It is also known as Spurge Laurel, Lady Laurel, Paradise Plant, or February Daphne. The plant contains an irritating resin called mezzarine, which uh, has been used as a cosmetic because it, it kills the, the blood vessels and it makes the skin turn red. It has been used as a cosmetic to redden the cheeks. One berry would cause great pain and irritation in your mouth that would last for hours. Several would probably kill you. Death camas are widespread in the northern hemisphere. It is also known as black snake root or uh, star lilies. They have been mistaken for wild onions and other edible plants. Some of the symptoms include low blood pressure, slow heartbeat, severe stomach upset. It contains zygodine, which is a steroidal alkaloid. It can cause extreme thirst, headache, dizziness, vomiting, heart irregularities, and also loss of muscle control, eventually leading to coma and death. There's a report in Wikipedia that says it was used by the Navajos for coyote bites. Sounds kind of strange. Take some poison if you get bit by coyotes. It probably doesn't do anything for the coyote bite, but, but it's like getting hit on the head with a hammer if you have a sore foot. It doesn't help the sore foot, but you're, you're not worried about it anymore. The toxin in death camas is a steroidal alkaloid. It is also contained in the pollen and can kill bees. The name of the poison is called zygodine. Some claim it's more potent than strychnine. Eating as little as one bulb is reported to be fatal in some species, but generally it requires quite a bit more. Golden dewdrops, also known as duranta, blue sky flower, or pigeon berries, are native to subtropical areas, including probably Florida. The fruit is bitter, so poisoning of humans is rare. Wild plants are usually thorny, but uh, domesticated varieties often aren't. The berries can cause fever or convulsions if eaten by humans. Oh, that is definitely not a recommendation for eating ivy. That was just some strange song that was a hit in the early 1900s. English ivy is only moderately toxic, but if you eat enough of it, it will cause local irritation, excessive salivation, nausea, difficulty in breathing, thirst, and eventually coma. The toxic substance is heterin. It is found in both the leaves and the berries. All parts of false hellebore are toxic, especially the roots. It also goes by the name of Indian poke. It likes moist places in mountainous environments mostly. It causes nausea and vomiting, 
Later, sweat and vertigo appears. The respiration slows, cardiac rhythm and blood pressure falls, eventually leading to death. It is notable in medicine in that it causes birth defects. It led to a lot of research in tumors and, and anti-cancer medicine. Native Americans used the juice from the plant to poison their arrows. Foxglove or digitalis is an especially toxic plant. The name digitalis comes from the fact that you can put your fingers right into the flowers. Digitalis is famous as a uh, heart medication. It is actually a member of the plantain family. It goes up to six feet tall. If you place a plant in a garden and the pollen falls on some vegetables, you could be poisoned by that. 